uh, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to go in this little video with respect to vulnerability, just the concept overall. But it's something that comes up often. And the idea that you, well, what I talk about as required in order to be a good survivor player is knowing yourself, uh, being sufficiently introspective over a long enough period of time in your life to have figured out who you are and to understand how people might respond to you. That said, as introspective as one might be, as bright as somebody is, as aware of what's going on, there's still a level of vulnerability that a good player must allow to happen. They need to be that kind of vulnerable in order to be relied upon, in order to be trusted by other players, in order for viewers to really get a sense in any meaningful way uh, that they that they see who this person is that they're that they're not just a character that they're somewhat real and that's an that's an enabler that that enables viewers to connect to the show if they can connect or believe that they well understand or at least somewhat understand those of us who are participating in it it's not easy to be vulnerable if you're a superficial person, if you're concerned about how people are going to think about you, whether or not they'll um, not like you, or if you feel as if that some of the things, the choices you're making might be off-putting in some way. All of that kind of has to be thought of ahead of time, I think. And you have to be willing to understand why you're there and therefore be vulnerable enough, allow yourself to be vulnerable enough to make the choices you need to make to win the game. Always kind of, at least hoping, if not caring at all, uh, about whether viewers might understand and respect your gameplay. Vulnerability is tough. Being vulnerable is not an easy thing to do. Vulnerability can be tough, and it, and it may not be an easy thing to do, but it's something that is necessary and will, I think, be rewarding as part of what's in your toolkit. It's a little odd to talk about being vulnerable as a tool, but everything in Survivor should be intentional. And that's just one more choice that you make, is to let yourself be vulnerable only when you decide and only when you're doing it intentionally.